Hello, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how to transform an low volume symbol into an uh, electronic symbol, but just by using a very cheap guitar piezo pickup. And um, let's go direct to the point. I just want to show you uh, how to do it. It's pretty simple and the material you're going to need. And later on in this video, I will discuss some pros and cons and uh, in first place, why you might want to uh, to do it? Check it out. Pretty obvious, but the first thing that you're going to need is the low volume symbol. Uh, in my case, I got those um, Zildjian L80s, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter as as far as we're going to put something here. It's going to affect the sound. So it doesn't matter if you use these ones or a very cheap one bought in AliExpress or something like that. Um, it really doesn't matter the brand in this case. Second thing that you're going to need is the Peso uh, pickup. You can find it anywhere from Amazon to eBay or AliExpress. I bought this one uh, on Amazon just because they delivered it in one day and I was like, really impatient to, to try it out and see if it, it work. And I bought these other ones from AliExpress. Um, I bought like a 10 of them because just because it's really cheap, I, I can remember the price, it's about $2 or something or so. It's really not that expensive. Uh, doesn't matter, both of them work just fine. Just um, uh, be sure to take something with the right jack for our drum module. And finally, the last thing that you're going to need is some, this uh, rubber thin uh, fuel stuff. I think it's for mailing for sealing doors and, and windows, but in this case, we're going to use to trim the edge of the symbol, just like this, because um, otherwise, no matter um, how you're going to change the settings on your mo drum module, it's going to double trigger when it vibrates. It's almost impossible to get rid of the double triggering uh, without uh, trimming the edge of the symbol. Of course, uh, if you are watching this video, I assume that you already have a drum module because if you're going to trigger your symbols, you're going to need one. Uh, I, need, I use a TD4. Uh, in fact, I just bought this one uh, because my drum kit is kind of getting bigger and I need like two drum modules to, to trigger all the, the drums I have on the kit. The other one is just like a Holland TD-11 that is just here in the background. It doesn't really matter which model you have, they all might uh, work uh, in the same way. For the installation, it's quite simple. I'm just show how to do it on a crash. It's uh, like a 16 inch uh, crash. You just need to take off the, the sticker and just put this uh, right here in the middle, but exactly where you're going to, to hit, not in the other side or on the side, just be sure that here is where you're going to hit in this way. You'll be sure that it's going to trigger uh, correctly. Okay, that's, and that's it. Let's just uh, try it as it is without the trimming the edge so you can see that it's probably going to double trigger a lot. And just another thing, uh, here is the, I put the symbol on the stand you can notice that the trigger is like just in the direction that I'm, I'm going to play. And uh, I'm just like putting the cable like this because I don't believe this thing is going to get stick here for a long time. As far as I start to play and hit the, the cymbal, I'm going, going just to fall apart. Uh, but that's that's why. And also there is the the, the weight of the, of the jack. I don't want this to just to get but loose like this is going to just make the finger uh, 
break or something. So let's check it out. How does it sound? I plugged it uh, directly to my uh, TD11 and um, then from the TD11 we saw USB cable to my uh, MacBook Pro using Ableton. So that is how does it sound. So I just uh, let's just put uh, trim the edge of the symbol. It's, it must be like quite simple to do it. I saw some videos on YouTube where uh, people just um, put some glue. I don't want to ruin my my symbol, so I, I try to to find another way to make those guys stay in place I will just like mark where I need to cut then uh, try to use this plier let's see if it work yes perfect The challenge make the thing stick here. Just for demonstration purpose, I just want to try to make it stay in place. Is one of these, I don't know how I call this in English. Sorry, let's see. Let's see what's going to work. Beautiful, I don't think so, but at least it did the job. And um, let's try it out. One important thing to notice is that after you do this, it would be hard to use uh, to get the sound of the low volume symbol, even if it's just for practice, because you cannot uh, remove uh, the rubber and mainly you cannot remove the remove the the trigger because it's 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 a seeker and if you take it on and off. Uh, it's probably not going to stick anymore uh, and the sound is not at all the same let's just check how it sounds uh, just as it is with this, this one Now let's check this one. So I removed the rubber, but uh, I still have uh, the trigger underneath the symbol. Uh, just to, just let's remember, this is how it sounds without the trigger and this is how it sounds with the trigger so as you can notice 
even just the trigger, it, it kind of kills the sound of the cymbal. And as I said, you cannot remove it uh, as much as you can, otherwise you're not going to get stick anymore. Um, that's one thing to take in consideration when you're going, if you're planning to transform a low volume symbol in an electronic symbol. So let's take a look in the alien. No, I'm joking. Let's take a look in the in the symbol. Uh, one thing that I expect is that the piezo uh, pickup wouldn't stay any longer on the symbols and that's what happened uh, like uh, two or three hours after I, I put the the piece of the sticker just uh, fall felt uh, fall felt uh, okay <laughs> you understand you got it so what I use I use some uh, cable ties here you can see that try to show you the other way uh, it's the, like the solution uh, I found to have the the kick cups uh, to stay in place for longer than a couple of minutes. And the last improvement I did to us to to glue uh, the the string and put some staples like this uh, because they were like falling all the time and this way it's kind of pretty solid and I've been playing for uh, a week and a half, half and uh, it's still there. Uh, so let's talk about money. Uh, I think the price is the main reason why um, I did this, convert uh, low volume symbols into electronic ones and I will show you uh, how to do the same and spend around uh, 30 bucks. For instance, in Aliexpress, you can find uh, this uh, 16 inch crash uh, for like $11 plus uh, another $11 for delivery, at, at least to France. And let's just try to make it somewhere else like. Uh, United States okay uh, uh, $90 it's like a little bit expensive but still it's not uh, that much um, as I mentioned before it doesn't matter uh, the quality of the sound because um, as far as you're going to put the the edge string it's going to completely kill the sound of the of the symbol so it doesn't matter uh, the other thing that I bought was like the the rubber edge string which I pay like uh, three pounds and 55 on eBay uh, let's say that I, I bought like three or four meters because I, I want to test in all my symbols but just for one one meter uh, is sufficient it's enough and uh, finally, uh, here is the piezo pickup that I bought and I pay like around one dollar. And so um, just do the math is you probably going to spend like less than 30 or 35 dollars to have uh, to, to have all, all the thing. And um, one thing that um, just to, just to, to compare a little bit, uh, I Google like um, f I try to find some uh, electronic symbol with like uh, sixteen um, inches, and if in fact you have the Holland uh, CI CI sixteen RT, which costs like this this price tag three hundred for nine, I I find this uh, fourteen inches for uh, 311 euros, which is ex pretty expensive. Um, there is some other options like ATV for which I found where. Um, two, 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 two. Mm, I think here 
uh, the ETV for uh, 438 euros, which is much more than the 30 euros that I would uh, I would pay for, to convert my my um, low volume symbols. Finally, let's talk about the pros and the cons of doing this. Okay, uh, pro uh, number one is visual. Um, I like the way it looks. It's not real symbols, uh, real acoustic symbols, but it looks great in the drum set while shooting videos, etc. That's my reason number one. Reason number two is how it feels while playing the symbols. I think it's the closest thing you can get of a real acoustic symbol. Uh, I have rubber um, rubber symbols and it's not. It's really not the same, just for me, that's why I like uh, low volume symbols. Reason number three is just because it's super simple to set it up, it's fast and um, that's a good reason. And finally, number four uh, is the price. Uh, at, this, at this price, you cannot get some rubber symbols with the same symbol size and etc. Uh, that's why I think it works to, to do it. And, and here is the reasons why you shouldn't do this. Uh, the first one, it's uh, a little bit louder than rubber symbols. So it's, if um, volume is, is a problem to you, just don't do it. Second reason is um, the fact that this solution, you cannot choke the symbol. It's, it's a single zone and you cannot choke. There is a way, there is a, you, can, you can buy a, a membrane and put on the edge of the symbol and do the choke, but you need um, soldering skills. It's a little bit um, harder to do it. Reason number three is the fact that you cannot use uh, the symbols acoustically. You can, but not, it's not going to sound like uh, low volume symbols anymore. And as I said previously, uh, you cannot uh, put on and take off the, the triggers as much as you can because they are not going to stick to the symbol anymore. So it's something you need to consider. And finally, uh, the fourth reason why you shouldn't do this, and this is very, very important, uh, it's a really cheap solution. So it probably we need maintenance uh, over time. What I mean by that, even with all the things I show in the video, probably uh, at some point it's going to, to fall or you are going to hit uh, the, the um, cable tie and it's going to break and you need to put it again. Um, maybe uh, depends on the uh, piezo that you are using, if you hit so hard is going to to unsoldering and you need to fix it. You know, uh, I know that in the market there are some brands I, I never tried before, but like uh, Magnatrack, which I would really like to to try some at some point. That looks like a more robust um, uh, solution, but is much more expensive as well. So please pay attention. It's not going to stick here uh, for forever. You need at some point just to maybe change the, the piezos, etc. It takes a little time, but overall, I'm really uh, happy with uh, the way I set up my drum kit, uh, my, my converted drum kit right now. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to say that um, Low vol converted low volume symbols are better than electronic symbols. It depends on your needs and a lot of fa other factors than just the price or feasibility. It's, there is volume, etc. Uh, for my use, for what I, I, I wanted, like real uh, size symbols with real look and, and almost the real feel, because since you put uh, you trim the edges, it's kind of changed a little bit of playing uh, an, an acoustic uh, kit with acoustic, acoustic symbols. 
And, but for me, uh, that's a nice solution with like, and it's not that expensive. So here it is, hope you like it. If you have questions or if there's something that I forget to mention and you want to know about it, just let me know in the comments. There is a plenty of uh, other uh, videos with probably much more in-depth uh, information about this subject, um, but it's a pleasure to share with you my experience. Thank you, see ya!